bottling day. So what we got is we have our beer. This is the IPA that you can check out that we home brewed on the channel. Uh, we added a little natural blood orange extract to it. This is gonna be a blood orange IPA for a buddy of mine who wanted uh, some, some blood orange style beer. So we've cleaned our uh, bottling bucket here. We got it ready to transfer the beer into it. The bottle caps are being sanitized right now. This is Star Sand Sanitizer. Our bottles have been sanitized and just stuck back in the box. Those are brand new bottles from uh, Northern Brewer. They're just uh, staging there waiting for the beer to be added. And we are almost done sanitizing our priming sugar. Now when you're doing your priming sugar, make sure that you boil it for the length of time it says on the packet and you only add enough for the amount in your fermenter. So you look inside your fermenter, how much beer is in there. If it's 4.5 gallons, five gallons, whatever it may be, you want the right amount of priming sugar that, uh, to add to that, that beer so that you don't add too much sugar into each bottle. Because what we're doing is, it, and each bottle is gonna have a secondary fermentation. And if that's too rigorous, it could blow the bottle up. So you wanna make sure that's correct. This beer is now making its way into the bottling bucket here. So right now it's uh, just being mixed with the priming sugar and of course that blood orange, blood orange extract that we've added. So once this is all in here mixed up well, we're gonna attach our bottling device. And how this works is you stick this down into the bottle, it depresses this plunger and it lets the beer out, it lets it flow into the bottle. And then uh, once you allow that to happen, you want the beer to come up all the way to the top. So when you remove this, the volume that this um, was displacing inside the bottle, inside the bottle will be enough to lower it just enough to, to where it has a little bit of head space and then we can cap it. So we're filling the bottles one by one. Bottling day complete. Here we go, we got about 45 bottles out of that one. It was a little less than five gallons. And uh, you know, it never seems like there's enough when you're done here. So of course that makes, makes you wanna brew some more. So got our uh, labels ready for each one. Time to label. And then remember, there's a secondary fermentation that's gonna take place in here. So at least two weeks before you open it. Open one. Make sure it's carbonated, ready to go, and enjoy.